Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm going to film this Eve makeup look for you guys. It's golden eyes and a bright red lip. Really wanted to go for something a little bit more glam today. I did use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette to create this look. But just know that you don't necessarily have to have the same exact products as I used in the video. As long as you have similar products, you can certainly do the look. If any of you do recreate the look, I would love to see what you guys came up with. So please tag me on Instagram or Twitter so I can see your recreations. And I just want to say Eid Mubarak to everybody that is celebrating Eid. I hope that you have a wonderful day with your loved ones, your family and friends. Even if you're not celebrating Eid, you can certainly wear this look on a night out. I mean bright red lip, golden eyes, it's a classic. So definitely could be a night out look. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload on my channel. Leave me a comment below letting me know what you would like to see from me next. If you want to see how I got this look today, then keep on watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay guys, so here I am starting with the Smashbox Pore Minimizer Primer and I'm just really placing it in the T-zone where I tend to get a little oily and really where I have my fine lines so I just want to even that out. I don't put it all over my face because I do have really dry skin and I find that if I put the primer all over my face, my skin just feels really dry throughout the day. Then we're moving on to foundation and I mix the Fit Me Foundation and the EX Invisawear Foundation today to get my perfect shade. The foundation shade as well as everything else that I use in the video will be in the description below. Now I'm taking a damp beauty blender and I'm using a patting or a bouncing motion onto my skin in order to help the foundation give the most coverage that it offers. Whenever you're using a beauty blender or any type of makeup sponge, you want to make sure that it's damp and not dry because when it's dry, it tends to soak up a lot of the product and you don't want to waste products that way. Also, with it being damp, it really gives you the most flawless finish. Then I'm going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC. 42 and I am concealing under my eyes as well as highlight the bridge of my nose the middle of my forehead my chin and Just really taking that damp beauty blender again making sure to blend it all in Now taking Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and using the damp beauty blender I'm really setting the concealer and the highlighted portion of my face I know it looks like I am baking under my eyes. I'm not. I'm just really working that powder into the skin to make sure that it's all set. Now I'm taking NYX's cream contouring stick and I am using it to carve out my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, a little bit on my chin as well as use it to contour my nose slightly. And with the damn beauty blender again, blend it all out. Can you tell I love my beauty blender? I felt like some of the nose highlight was lost when I contoured the nose. So I go back in with the Fit Me Concealer just to highlight the top of my nose again. Now taking this powder contour by MAC in Blunt, uh, we're really just setting all the places that we did the cream contour before in order to ensure that the product doesn't move around. Then taking Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to deepen the contour as well as bronze up the skin all over. After that, I am going to go off camera and I will do my brows, so I'll be right back. Here I am priming my eyelids using the Primer Potion by Urban Decay, which will help make the eyeshadow more vibrant as well as prevent it from creasing. I also went ahead and primed my lower lash line since we're going to put some eyeshadow on there as well. Here I am setting the primer using a loose setting powder just to make all the blending a little bit easier later on. 
I'm starting off with this shade called Semi Sweet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm working the shadow into the crease using Morphe M441 brush just really keep working that shadow into the crease and then take a little singing break and then go back to working it into your crease now taking this shade Creme Boulet I am using a flat shader brush to place the color right onto my lid making sure that I don't go past the brown in the crease I'm also using a tissue paper to prevent any fallout from falling on my face since I already had my base done. Then I go back into that brown shade again and using the same crease brush, I deepen up the crease color a little bit more. Then taking the shade Gilded Ganache, I am placing this color onto the outer part of my lower lash line using Morphe E36. Then I'm taking Max Eyeliner Pencil in Smolder and I'm lining the inner rim of my upper lash line. This helps to make the lashes look a little bit fuller. And guys, I know this looks a little scary, so if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can totally skip this step. We're moving right onto liquid liner. Here I'm using one of my favorite drugstore liquid liner by L'Oreal in Carbon Black. And I'm doing a slight wing, I guess, not too long. Really didn't feel like doing a long wing today. Taking Smolder again, I'm lining the lower lash line and smudging it using Morphe E36 brush again. After that, I'm taking a blending brush and further blending out the shadows and cleaning up the edges, making sure that everything is looking seamless. Now taking Ambering Rose, which is a peachy shimmery blush by MAC, I am placing it right onto my cheeks using Morphe E4 blush brush. Now it's time to curl those lashes and get it ready for mascara. And I am using Bad Gal Lash by Benefit today and I'm only doing one coat of mascara since we're gonna go in with falsies. Oh, but apparently we have to take a dance break first, guys. I had a lot of fun filming this day, can you tell? Okay, now we're ready for the falsies, guys. <laughs> so, I'm taking Ardell Demi Wispies today and I am placing those bad boys onto my lashes. And for the most part, I am not in frame here, so I just skipped over those part for you since I have to get real up close and personal with my mirror while I do this. I am going back with the liquid liner just to cover any traces of glue that may still be showing as well as the lash band. Also going back in with the mascara I used before to connect my real lashes with the falsies. Then taking Benefit Their Real Mascara for my lower lashes. It is a waterproof formula which is what I've always preferred for my lower lashes. Now onto Benefit Gimme Brow to set those brow hair in place. Here I'm taking a Q-tip just to clean the foundation off of my lips and I am moisturizing the lips using my lip balm before moving on to this lip liner by NYX. It's in the shade Dark Red to outline my lips and just really take my time make sure that it's a very clean cut outline since we're doing a red lip today. Once I'm happy with that, I am filling in my lips using the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil by NARS in the shade Cruella. Then I'm taking my face powder with a flat shader brush just to clean up the edges of my lipstick. You know, it's a red lip, we really want it to pop so we want to make sure that the edges are nice and clean. Then I decided to go in with Max Ruby Woo, which is one of my favorite lipstick ever. I wanted even more of a matte finish, so I'm just layering this on on top of the NARS one. Then taking Champagne Paw by Becca and Jaclyn Hill, I am highlighting my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, as well as my cupid's bow. But my camera decided that it didn't want to film that for me. Sorry guys. So to finish it all off, I am using MAC Fix Plus to set all the makeup that we just did. And that is the look you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this Eve makeup look. 
as I said before this doesn't only have to be for Eid it could be like a night out look or a party look if you liked the video I would really appreciate a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos thank you again so much for watching you guys and I will see you in my next one